Okay, now uh, let's go back to the topic where we left off in the last class. What was that? Maximum power transfer. Okay, now we know enough about power with phases to deal with that. Uh, if you have any network with independent sources and R's, L's and C's, we can always represent that with some phaser V and equal impedance Z TH. Okay, so this is like V and RTH except that both the voltage V and the impedance are complex in general. Okay, now what we want to find out is what is the load ZL I should connect to it so that I absorb the maximum power from this V. Okay, so let me call this RTH plus J XTH. I can always write it like that, right? Any complex impedance and this could be RL plus J XL. Okay. So, what is the power delivered to the load? What is the voltage across the load? Okay, so this is the voltage across the load. What is the current through the load? V by ZL plus ZTH. And how do I get the power from this? I will take the conjugate. Okay, the real part of that would be the power. And what is that? What is the denominator if I multiply a num complex number and its complex conjugate? Hmm? What is it? If I multiply a complex number and its conjugate, what will I get? Modulus square. Okay. Okay, and the same thing happens between this and that. Okay. And finally, you will have only ZL left, right? So, we will have that one. Is this fine? And I have to maximize this by varying this one, okay? So, that is the condition. What the variables I have are RL and XL, okay? So, the power delivered to the load is mod V square by 2, real part of ZL which is RL and modulus of uh, ZL plus ZTH square which is RTH plus RL square plus XTH plus XL square. Okay. And I have to adjust RL and XL to maximize PL. So, what are the conditions quickly? Hmm? XL equals minus XTH and then RTH equals RL. Okay. So, the point is with reactances we can have negative stuff also. So, uh, I think we can put it in the same form that we used earlier when we calculated the uh, maximum power transfer for resistive circuits. If I take this RL inside the square, what will I get? Did I miss something here? Is this correct? Yeah, let me do this. Then if I take it inside, I will get RTH by RL plus RL by RTH whole square plus XT, XTH plus XL square divided by 
आर टी एच आर एल राइट ओके दिस पार्ट इज फोर टाइम्स द अवेलेबल पावर and to minimize this we have to make the two terms equal to each other which is rl equals rth and to minimize this i have to make xl equals minus xth okay so what is the maximum power you can draw what is it v square by okay first of all this uh, absolute value of v square by 2 that comes because it's a sine wave okay so earlier what was the available power that dc square divided by 4 times r rth right so now also it is the same except that dc square is replaced by the peak square divided by 2 okay so this what does it mean in terms of uh, zl what should be zl in relation to zth complex conjugate okay so this is known as conjugate matching of the load again a very very important and useful concept when you have a limited available power especially in radios this happens that you have very weak signal and you have to draw all of it into the load you have to use conjugate matching in order to maximize the power transfer okay please think about this if there are any questions we'll discuss it tomorrow